I am Professor Gurmeet Singh. I am the head of school for the School of Business and Management. And in our university, head of school is the dean of the school. So our university uh, is actually owned by 12 Pacific Island countries. I call it South Pacific Island countries. And uh, we have campuses in all 12 countries. And some of these countries are very small in size. Say for example, Tuvalu uh, is a small country with population of few thousand uh, you know, people. And then we have a bigger country like Fiji, which has a population of uh, around 900,000. And then we have other countries like Solomon Island with a population of 300,000. And then Samoa with a population of 200,000. Tonga, uh, almost same population. And then we have few more smaller countries where the population again is in thousands, like for example, Niue, Nauru. So these are the smaller countries. And um, out of these 12 countries, uh, we offer MBA program in seven countries. And uh, you know, as far as the Fiji is concerned, we run MBA on a regular basis. Uh, and uh, even Solomon Island is also regular. But in other countries, we run our MBA program on a cohort basis. So that means it all depends on the numbers and uh, and sometimes we have, you know, uh, requests from the government because students are sponsored by the government. So we will run the program for the smaller countries with the cohort and then wait for two, three years to, you know, uh, to, to get the numbers again. So this is how we offer our MBA program in Fiji and in the region. As far as our MBA program is concerned, our MBA program is actually meant for the managers working in the region and majority of them are senior managers and every year we have some CEOs in the class. And you know, the way they learn, it's not just the teacher, they learn from each other. So our teaching format is designed in such a manner, so we call it round table. So everybody is sitting round the table and they are in the groups. So on, in ev uh, on every table, we will have one CEO or one very senior manager. So that's how they learn from each other. So they get that experience from the CEOs and then the teachers, they coordinate the teaching. So this is how uh, we teach our MBA program. We have smaller countries, we have bigger countries. For some countries, the focus is tourism. For some countries, there is little focus on business and industry. And some countries, there is focus just on the government, administration, governance uh, uh, related things. So, and, and that's how we format our program uh, accordingly. So when we teach in the smaller countries, so we select the case studies related to, uh, related to their economy, related to their problems, related to their focus. And when we are teaching in Fiji, for example, so we mix so many things. So we uh, talk about the global context. We talk about the Fijian economy. We have the case studies from the Fijian industry, Fijian businesses. So this is how uh, we manage it. The challenge is for the smaller countries only. Uh, from smaller countries, uh, it's always difficult to get the mix of students, you know? So I, I suppose you will understand that diversity in education is very important. So when it comes to classroom learning, so you need to have that diversity and then that learning becomes very effective. So in smaller countries, that's the challenge. So we have to manage with the smaller size class and they may be from the same uh, government department, they may be from the same uh, organization. So the diversity in the smaller countries is a challenge for us, but not in the medium and you know, the bigger countries like Fiji. It's about sustainability. Climate change uh, is, you know, separate, but we do collaborate 
with the uh, with the other department uh, who focus on the climate change so we have joint research projects so we have joint uh, teaching also but our focus is more on sustainability on governance on administration and on the business related problems almost 50 percent of our faculty is international so we bring people from us australia new zealand europe they come and teach uh, uh, in our mba program and then they go back. but but uh, as far as our staff is concerned we also have the international staff we have recruited international staff from all over the world the most important thing about our school is that uh, we don't get many international students because we are a regional university so we have regional students not really international students so uh, that's unique about we can call international but we don't count our regional students as international students so sometimes we get students from australia new zealand uh, us but they are in minority so the best thing about our mba program is we have a regional focus and that's why you know our focus is on solving the regional problems in the south pacific